Hi, welcome to the latest episode of Middle Age Badass. This week I'm going to talk about losing my virginity. Now, I know some of you are thinking, wait a minute, she's 45 years old. She's way past being a virgin. Well, it's not that type of virginity, you perverts. This type of virginity is the type of virginity where you cross things off your bucket list that you've never done before. And I want to talk about popping my Fun Run Cherry. This past Saturday, I did this thing called the, the uh, Superhero Fun Run here in Portland, Oregon. And it was a fundraiser for keeping music in Portland schools. And it was a lot of fun. Now, you're wondering if I did the 2K, the 5K, the 10K, or the whole damn marathon. Well, I can tell you that since this was my first fun run, I did the 2K because I was not going to kill myself. And, you know, I've been meaning to do a fun run for years, and now this is a fun run that I can actually cross off my bucket list. Now, will I do more fun runs in the future? I don't know. But, well... This is how I was feeling after the race, after my hubby interviewed me and sweat was pouring down off of me. So let's roll that clip from the Superhero Fun Run. How do you feel after you're running your first 2K? I want to thank God, I want to thank Jesus for helping me whoop that man's ass in the ring. Oh, okay, whose ass was I kicking on the ring? Okay, never mind, that was a wrong sporting event. But, uh, That's me, sweating, being delirious from the heat. It was about 95 degrees that day. Uh, yeah, that's what the 2K does to you. But you know what? I went out and I made that 2K my bitch. So, I am actually going to share a few tips with you on how you can survive your first fun run or your first marathon or your first 2K or whatever you want to do. As a matter of fact, we're going to roll back to a couple weeks. It was Sunday, June 29th. It was Peacock in the Park. And, well, being the videographer that I am, I wanted to get all the footage that I could at the drag show. Because, you know, I like to archive stuff. I like to put stuff on YouTube. Well, I made a mistake of not putting sunscreen on. And I did pay the price just to get the shots. Well, when I did this fun run, I was not going to repeat the same mistake. So the night before, I actually went to Target. And I found this thing, which I believe is nectar from the gods. It is Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist, 100 plus SPF. And the day of the fun run, it saved my sweet alabaster ass, let me tell you. Now, when I got burned at Peacock, I was as red as Zoidberg. And I will say this, red is my favorite color. Obviously, I am wearing it right now. But it's not cute on my skin. So... And I only like to burn once during the summer. So, when you're going and doing your first fun run, get some sunscreen that works for you. Where uh, My suggestion is that you do 30 plus and above. That way your ass is not burnt. Now, there's a few tips I want to share with you about your first fun run or your first marathon or your first 2K or your first run or whatever. Now, the first tip that I want to share with you is get your Z's two nights in a row. Now, I know this was my first run, and I was really, really anxious. And so I wanted to be well-rested. So what these, Active.com suggests is that you get two nights in a row of rest, at least eight to ten hours of sleep. Now, 
race jitters will strike the night before the race. How do I know this? Because I do know this. And I was very nervous. Now, for more experienced runners, this is normal and it will not influence your race. Now, prepare yourself instead of, instead by, you know, getting some quality sleep, two nights in a row, and you're going to be, you're going to be golden. Also, keep it light. During race week, do not overexert yourself. Do not try to kill yourself because if you try to kill yourself during race week, the day of the week, the day of the race, you're going to run out of steam, say, within the first quarter mile, and that's going to suck for you. Also, the morning of the race, get a good breakfast in. Eat something healthy like banana and oranges, apples, oatmeal, a lot of really good healthy stuff to eat the morning of the race. Even grab a bagel. Bagels are good too. Also, the day you of the race, you will also want to remember get there early. It's always important to get there early because when you get there early, you have time to breathe, relax, do some stretches. That way you're not getting a Charlie horse on the way to the finish line. It's, it's always good to get there early. And also, uh, that goes hand in hand with warming up. So when you get there early, that gives you more time to warm up, doing stretches, doing uh, back extensions, uh, running in place, getting, getting the adrenaline going. Now, also, if you're running a marathon, just, just get in line. Now, the starting line can be crowded and nerve-wracking for so many people who are running their first time. And it's also nerve-wracking for people running many different races. We all know that. And, you know, you will start with those around your pace, and you will have many more ahead of you to chase down during this race. Now, also, when you're racing, it's very important that you pace yourself. Just don't, you know, when the gun goes off or the whistle goes off, don't, don't run and be like, okay, run like a bat out of hell. Because when you start doing that, you are actually going to be DOA at the race line. Or you're going to be out of breath because you just want to keep it steady if it's a fun run, just if you don't feel like running the whole 2K, you know what I did? I actually power walked um, all the way across the Hawthorne Bridge, across the East Bank Esplanade, and back to the finish line. So I wasn't in any hurry to be number one. I actually was, I was actually just, you know, I'm going to keep a steady pace. I'm not going to kill myself. I got this. Also, during the run, you, you want to stay positive the whole time because you got this. You do. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. You got this. Positivity goes a long way. And the next tip is just remember to breathe. Breathe the whole time. If you breathe, it will benefit you in the long run. Believe me. I'm breathing slowly in and out, and the more I breathe, it was, I was fine. And then the last tip, think about the adrenaline high you're going to get as you cross the finish line. That adrenaline high is better than any drug you can ever take in your life. And it's exhilarating. And you know what? Keep that high as much as you can because, you know, as long as you're doing that run to have fun, that's all that matters. Well, and now I want to talk about my progress this week. As some of you know, if you've been keeping up my blogs for the whole summer, I have been going to the gym about six days a week. I did plateau at 183 for a while, but <clears throat> I am down one pound, which makes me 182. So if you want to see my progress pictures, and how many inches I've actually lost, you can check out my Tumblr blog that I put out every single week. And this week, I not only put out a progress pic, I also put out how many inches I've lost. And so far this year, I've lost 32 pounds so far, just by keeping up doing what I'm doing. And before I sign off, I want to talk about my comedy channel, Alex in the City. 
Be sure to stay tuned every Saturday at noon for a new episode of Things on the Internet that make you go what the fuck, which is going on from now until the beginning of September. So I will see you guys next week. And you guys stay healthy and beautiful.